Hey, this is Mike with Icon. Uh, today I have some troubleshooting tips if you're experiencing any kind of connectivity loss or not being able to connect with your controller. Uh, we're going to go through a few little um, procedures here and see if we can help you out. Okay, first thing, we are using a um, QCon Pro X for this demonstration. And um, the Pro X was um, previously uh, at version 1.14. It has been upgraded to uh, firmware at version 1.15. So first thing we want to do is um, make sure that the USB cable coming out of the back of the Pro X is going directly into your uh, computer. Uh, in this case we're using a Mac and we're going right into the USB port of the Mac. Uh, this is uh, definitely a uh, first thing you want to do if you're doing troubleshooting. Uh, make sure you're not going through any kind of a hub if you are going through a hub, I would wait until after you're done with the, the troubleshooting procedure um, just to make sure that that's not causing the problem. But we do have a, a, a Icon One Hub, which has uh, four USB ports and four power ports, and it's uh, specially made for our controllers so that um, if you are having any kind of issues, uh, definitely get yourself a powered hub like that. And um, again, for this test, we're going to go directly into the computer. All right, so um, next thing we want to do is we want to check the MIDI studio on the Mac computer. And in order to do that, we want to go into the audio MIDI setup. Uh, just go ahead and search, type in audio MIDI setup. It looks like a little keyboard. And um, bring up that, uh, that dialog. And we, oh, uh, make sure that you do the window drop down and do MIDI, show MIDI studio, because a lot of times what will happen is uh, when you first bring it up, it'll show the audio devices, this one here. And in order to see the studio, which is what we want, yeah, window drop down, show, um, show MIDI studio. So we've already got it shown. Okay, so you, you can see here we have, like I said, we updated this to version 1.15, but still we're showing 114. So this is one of the issues. This is something we want to definitely come in and check. Uh, we want to change this to 115. In order to do that, let's shut down the KubeCon Pro X. And you'll see that the, uh, the highlight goes out. If you click on that device, click on the minus sign, it removes it. Also get rid of the firmware upgrade 1.00 that was put in there as part of the upgrade process. Um, okay, so we've removed, removed those two. The rest of them in there is a keyboard uh, and some other MIDI devices. Uh, another troubleshooting tip is to make sure none of these other devices, MIDI devices, are lit up at the moment. If they are, that means the device is turned on or software hasn't turned on, and you want to definitely make sure they're turned off. We don't want anything interrupting during this troubleshooting process. So uh, nothing else should be lit up uh, except if you have your Bluetooth on or your network uh, is turned on. So in that case, you can leave those alone. All right, so the next thing we do is just turn the Pro X back on again, and we wait for it to boot up. And when it has fully, once it has fully initialized, you'll see that the new device comes back in. All right, so there it is. We have our version 115 now in the MIDI studio. Uh, it's our upgraded version, and the computer is definitely seeing it. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go into our DAW, and in this example, we're using uh, Logic Pro. And um, in, the, in Logic Pro, we want to check out our device setup under Control Surfaces, Preferences. I'm sorry, Separate Setup. And our Mac and Control. And our input and output uh, ports should be set to the new device, 115. You might see your old device in there, 114. Uh, so go ahead and switch that. Make sure it's 115. And um, and now we know that that's connected and uh, we should have control. So yeah, now that we know that that's connected and everything's working, um, if for some reason you're not getting connectivity, let's say you're not getting connectivity, you're not, um, you're not seeing the device in the input and output port, okay, or something's, something's just not working. Um, what you can do, and this, and I've seen this work many times, is you basically start the whole procedure over again, okay? So you would shut off your Pro X. Um, you would go ahead and remove your Mackie controller. Just go ahead and delete it, all right? Close down your DAW. 
go into your MIDI studio, remove the device, and then shut down your computer, reboot your computer. When the computer comes back up again, go ahead and turn on your Pro X. So basically you're just repeating the whole process from the beginning. And uh, once it reboots and we see the device, we can go ahead and back into our DAW. Go into our control surfaces setup and add a new Mackie controller. And again, when you add your Mackie controller, make sure you're using the Mackie control, not the C4, not the extender, not the Pro. You want to make sure you're using the Mackie control standard. And um, go ahead and add the Mackie controller again. Add, put your ports in, output ports, input ports, and that's it. You should have connectivity. Now, for some reason, you still don't have connectivity. What we highly recommend and is that you contact the uh, service department and uh, get someone on the phone because they, they, they usually can talk you through something you might be missing or uh, some little step that's missing or something that, uh, that uh, we've overlooked. But um, in that event, if you've talked to the, the uh, contacted the service department and they still can't help, um, the only thing left to do would, would be to, to um, maybe get a, the unit repaired uh, if it is defective. But um, that's it. You know, when, first I would exhaust all these possibilities because there's so many things that, uh, as, you can, as you can see, there's so many things that uh, could be troubleshot.